Well, Ricardo Balazetsky is the president of Cyropol and principal cyber security advisor to Ascot Barclay Cyber Security Group, and he joins us now. Uh, Ricardo Balazetsky, thanks for joining us. So what kind of defences can be put in place uh, by companies and organisations to stop these kind of attacks happening in the future? It's very, very difficult to stop these kind of attacks. I think what we have to focus on is the way the security system work worldwide. First, the international community needs to understand that these cyber attacks is only in the evolution stages. And what we have witnessed here is a kind of critical infrastructure cyber attack, um, which combines the mess in the one side, but also the critical infrastructure where hospitals were the, one of the main targets here. So this is a very sensitive but difficult question to answer and to say, well, what is the solution? Um, in itself, that uh, there has to be new steps in the international cyber law. Uh, and what's happening at the moment, uh, uh, Ricardo, uh, would you think, in terms of trying to track down who might actually be behind this attack? And they, are they ever going to be able to find out who, who was responsible for this? I doubt very strongly um, if there will ever be accountability for any attack similar. What we have witnessed here um, is a uh, potential group um, that has many colors. So they more than likely do not belong to one single group, even though they claim to be. Um, and more important is, is that this attack shows us that a day zero or zero day vulnerability indeed exists. And that is one of the big questions that the cyber industry has had for a long time. Will we reach a zero-day vulnerability situation? And I think we have seen the possibility absolutely being there. Uh, Ricardo, it's worth just explaining to our viewers what you mean by zero-day vulnerability. That's when everything is kind of wiped out and we start again from scratch, correct? Well, yes and no. Um, it, it means that ineffectively it can uh, cripple the critical infrastructure on a global scale, not only on a national scale. For example, uh, this kind of attack we've witnessed, uh, have, it, uh, have it taken place against a major stock market, and then things would be a lo lot different at this moment. And that is where the, the danger lays in the fact that the cyber industry is far more advanced than governments, and governments has to realize that they are allowing tools to be developed that can be used effectively against them. And uh, this is uh, certainly a uh, indication that a potential zero-day vulnerability uh, could definitely exist in the future, and in the very near future as such. Okay, uh, Ricardo Boretsky from Yascot, Barclays Cybersecurity Group, thanks very much for joining us.